Hello! My face is frozen. I am here today with uh, Jay Shock West and Sadat the Gamer. Mike, wow, I'm having issues today. This is Jay Shock West. You, you guys well. are fine. I, I all accept all <laughs> responsibility. You know? You don't, you don't have to do that. I ruin everything. <laughs> well, now I'm just really large, and I don't know why. This Jeez. is so scuffed! I don't cry. What is going on? Let's just go, right? I got my questions, I got my answers, that's all I need, okay? First question, um, what are the names of both Superman-like characters from the film Megamind? <laughs> Jay's answers are great. Good ones. These are good options, you know? <laughs> the reason that I asked this question is because Megamind is actually coming back, which is pretty exciting. It's gonna be a show, and the characters' names that I was looking for were, in fact, actually uh, Titan and Metro Man. So this is basically a, a, a sponsored segment? <laughs> no, I <laughs> wish. I think, I think you have, have to disclose that, sir. <laughs> Who was the first supervillain that Spider-Man fought? This question comes from Alkime on my Discord. Very subtle plug there. <laughs> I'm gonna go Green Goblin. Green Goblin, Vulture, both of you wrong again, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to be this difficult, but it was the chameleon. I like this question personally because this is a trivia question that I actually bust out every time I watch this movie. Why is the Hulkbuster referred to as Veronica in Age of Ultron? Hulk's second ex-wife, that's Jay's answer. That's actually pretty close because of AI in it. Um, no, not quite. The real reason is, um, because it's an Archie Comics reference. You got Betty, who is the Hulk love interest, right? And then you have, uh, Veronica, who is not the Hulk love interest. Um, roster what is the of, roster of the Justice League at the start of DC Rebirth? Just list names and whoever gets the most will get the point here. Oh no, it's happening again. All my audio cut out. I don't know why. I, I assume you guys can still hear me. I'm just gonna read the answers out. It's Simon Boz, Jessica Cruz, um, Barry Allen, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman. Uh, Barry Allen, also uh, known as The Flash, of course. Um, and then you had two Green Lanterns, and there was actually no Martian Manhunter, which I saw both of you guys put. Um, I almost put Simon Baz too. Oh. I was gonna say, do I get more extra credit by actually saying Jess Cruz and not just writing generic Jeez, Green Lantern? Nerd. Technically, since I said Green Lantern, that could be both. <laughs> well, it could be literally every. <laughs> like, that's what they all call each other, Green Lantern. Which mass adventurer is the alter ego of Daniel Dryberg or Dreberg? I don't know. Think DC, but not regular DC. I'll give you guys a hint here just because I feel like it. For the record, I did give the points to Jay for the last one. Racist. <laughs> I knew you were going to play that card. <laughs> Time to change my mind. <laughs> Dan Dryberg is a character from Watchmen. Does that help you guys at all? It's a comedian, right? <laughs> it's Night Owl 2. <laughs> right? The Disney Plus shows from worst to best. Um, and the closest person, according to their Metacritic scores, uh, will win. I know what my score would be, so I have to go. So I have to think based on Metacritic, those hacks. Do you guys want to talk through your thought process? Feel free. Yeah, I literally just went from wokest to least wokest. The correct answer, the correct rating. WandaVision is apparently the most beloved of the Disney Plus series with a 77. Loki comes following right after that with 74 and Falcon and the Winter Soldier actually also had a 74 but had a lower user score. I got the top three. And then what I mean, if uh, with a 69? Hell yeah. And then Hawkeye is in last place there. Should have stuck with it. Yeah, you, you, you had it and then uh, you second guessed yourself. Jay, I think you got Falcon and the Winter Soldier and that's it. Mine is worst to best. So I got Wanda and Loki. Oh, you're right. Okay. You got Wanda, Loki, and... So I got number one and number two. Give us <laughs> both points. Oh, I'm not frozen on this screen, at least. Let's go! <laughs> this is a, our survey portion. First question for you, Jay. If I asked you to name an overrated comic book character, what comes to mind? And uh, do remember you're looking for the most popular answer. Batman. Overrated comic oh, book Oh, Superman. Character. I'd like to say Superman. Superman? Favorite film that DC has made? The Dark Knight. What's your favorite superhero team, Jim? Favorite, uh, Justice League, we'll say. Name a member of the Teen Titans. Nightwing. And what is the most iconic weapon from Marvel? Captain America's shield. Yo, Welcome yo. back. I'm gonna ask you the same questions. If you get an answer that is the same as Jay's, you'll hear a little buzzer noise. It's gonna sound like, eh, eh. name an underrated superhero. Or an overrated superhero, sorry. Uh, Superman. Superman. Eh, eh. Batman. Also a good choice. Also a good choice. What is your favorite DC film? Uh, Dark Knight. Eh, eh. <laughs> I guess 
Oh, the Suicide Squad. What is your favorite superhero team? The Avengers. Name a member of the Teen Titans. Uh, Raven. And name the most iconic Marvel weapon. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. I don't know how to spell that. I'll be honest, but I'll, I'll give my best. Let's see how you guys did. Name an overrated comic book character. So now you said Batman that got you 10 points. Jay, you said Superman that also got you 10 points. It was a tie for the number one answer. Very unsurprising, to be honest. Yeah, they're, they're the biggest ones. <laughs> so me changing my answer from Batman to Superman literally didn't matter. <laughs> Correct. The, the number three answer, funny enough, Iron Man. Wow. Favorite DC film, The Suicide Squad. There's only actually... I, I think people forgot that was a DC film or something because nobody put it. I have one answer for Suicide Squad, not even the Suicide Squad, but I'll give you that one point anyway. And the Dark Knight, that was that was easily the number one answer with 13, with Batman 89 actually being second place. Number one superhero team. Jay, you said the Justice League, four people that I pulled said the Justice League, and uh, 24 people said the Avengers. I mean, that was obvious. That's, yeah, that's a little <laughs> demographic bias perhaps. I didn't know where <laughs> these answers came from. I was going based, you said the masses. The, 100-ish people I polled, yeah. <laughs> okay. The number two answer is actually X-Men. I regretted not saying X-Men, to be honest. This is a Mar Marvel world, sir. Uh, member of the Teen Titans, Raven, was the number two answer with 13 points. And the number one answer was Robin. I also have five answers for Nightwing, and I do consider them separate characters. Yeah, I do too. I find Nightwing more of a Titans than a Teen Titan, but I don't know. I almost said Robin, but I thought Nightwing was so popular. Most iconic Marvel we weapon, resounding Captain America's shield with 20. Mjolnir was second place with 14. That's close. That's the closest game we've had, that's for sure. Yeah, 52 for Jay and 62 for Sadat. 10 point differential. Very close game, folks. Very close game. Fuck it, Jay. I don't have any prizes for you guys. If you guys wanted to add stakes, that's 100% up to you. I'm not going to force you guys to do anything. I'll send me a link to the do-rag I'm buying, I guess. <laughs> Please make sure it doesn't have weed or penises on it. Weed and penises. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of cocaine. Oh, <laughs> for good measures. Feel free to tell the people what you do. You can find me at uh, OnlyFans.com slash JShockBlast. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna check that later. <laughs> Please don't. I am a spreader of hatred related to the Marvel's Avengers game. I also play video games in my bedroom, YouTube dot com slash Sadat the Gamer. Become a member of Durag Nation, which Jay will be a part of temporarily. I'll be there for for the uh, credibility so you don't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you if you have questions, you wanna you wanna put trivia questions that I might ask on this on this show. There's a trivia section in my Discord, you could join that. I don't know what the heck is going on. I can't get my camera to come back on. I plugged it into different USB slots. I am so sorry for the tech issues guys. I did have fun anyway in spite of everything thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed your stay